Hey, what is going on? I'm Johnny Del Balso with Triumphant and welcome to week 28 of this Ironman training vlog. Today is Tuesday, September 10th. Um, yes, we're starting this one on a Tuesday. Um, I did do a recovery ride with uh, actually a really big group. Our tri group had a little uh, kind of year end uh, get together yesterday. So we had like 25 bikers or something. Um, so we did a recovery ride. Maybe I'll put a clip of that in. But anyways, we're starting this on a Tuesday. We have a threshold interval workout to do today on the tri bike. Today is also, we're having a pub run with the Northeast Running Club. So I'm probably just gonna do the bike ride for that, but there's gonna be a big group running and then we're gonna have some drinks and appetizers or whatever after. They do these monthly and this, I think this might be the last one of the year. But anyways, let's shut me up. And uh, yeah, right now we are less than three weeks out from Ironman Chattanooga. We're racing that September 29th of this month. Uh, me and my buddy, Mike Era, you've seen him in the videos. I've talked about him. We need to get him in some more of these vlogs, but uh, He's been in enough so far. But anyways, we're both uh, starting to feel the pressure of tapering and some of the crazies coming out. Um, maybe a little bit of self-doubt, maybe a little bit of a reflection on how we've trained this year. But I think right now we are both in very good shape and uh, yeah, just looking forward to it. So we're starting to taper, but we're still getting some heavy workouts in today. Um, anyways, as far as today's workout, it's supposed to be two 18 minute blocks of zone four power. So I'm gonna be shooting for 290 to 300 watts. Um, see what i could do um with uh this trail or whatever i'm on usually i could hit that so uh we'll get to it and we'll check back in all right we just got in a little like a 12 minute warm up here um i'll probably uh, cruise for another five minutes so i get to a good spot to do this first 18 minute interval um i thought we were tapering this week a little bit but yeah two by 18 that's pretty uh pretty aggressive so yeah we're staying on it so maybe next week we'll start to taper um, this should be a really good workout if I can get through it. All right, first 18 minute threshold complete. Um, we nailed that one. I actually went 19 minutes because there's a Strava segment. Um, I have the KOM on it, but I'm racing myself today. So I think we got it. Um, yeah, uh, the legs came alive for that one. So hopefully uh, the second one goes just as good. And uh, this is gonna be a killer freaking workout today. I'm really happy with the power we just put down there. So I'm gonna do a five minute uh, easier break here, turn around and uh, maybe see how we do on the segment going backwards. I think there's another one there and I don't think I have that KOM. Bike feels awesome today. I raised the saddle a teeny bit. Position feels really good. I don't know if you can see that, but my bike position looks really cool in my shadow. So I don't think I even need to go get a professional fit. The shadow checks out. All right, I think we just nailed it. Um, did that second 18 minute interval, stayed on it till 19 or 20 minutes. Um, I will be very surprised if we didn't just nab both of those KOM segments because we were on it. Um, felt really good. Uh, put down the power on this thing. Um, position feels great. Um, we are in very, very good shape right now. It's very exciting. All right, we just gave a little hill segment an effort through the woods there. Um, I don't know why I decided to do that, but um, we'll see what we could do. Yeah, that uh, that power in the pink. I think we were pushing four or five hundred watts through that segment. We'll see. See what it turns up. But uh, we're chasing crowns today, I think. Yeah, that felt really good to turn it up on that hill. All right, ride complete. Not gonna lie, that was probably one of my best rides of the year. We did 32 miles, average speed 23 miles an hour, average power 236 watts, and we lit up some KOMs here. Check this out. We got one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. All of them. But that hill climb, second. We got second. We tied up with my buddy Henry. Um, me and him were still three seconds off of the KOM there, so. Uh, we got a little work to do, but I think uh, I think we could nab that one of these days. Yeah, my effort on that hill climb one was 420 watts, so not as much as I was thinking, but uh, we'll come back when we're fresh and get it. <laughs> but cool, really good ride. I'm gonna go uh, get some food and yeah, nerd out on this a little bit. All right, 
minute swim complete. Uh, that went really good for me. I did uh, an aerobic set, so 10 by 200 yards. And uh, whenever I take off the first 50 of each of those sets, I'd go out at like a zone four pace and then back down to zone two. Um, halfway through that swim, I realized I didn't pay for parking. So my mind started getting all flustered, thinking I'm getting a parking ticket. So we're about to find out here. Let's see what we got. Anyways, happy with the swim. Let's see what we got. Nothing cool. We saved a dollar forty this morning. Nice. All right, I got to get to work. All right, it is Thursday on lunch break. Uh, we have a 35-minute progressive run on the menu today. So these are some of my favorite run workouts to do. We're just going to start off at a zone two pace to warm up, and and at a zone four pace. So I usually increase the pace on these every mile, but since this is such a short run, I'm just going to ramp up the effort. Um, pretty much from start to finish. So each mile will reflect that, but I'm not gonna run each mile at a steady state pace. We're just gonna keep ramping it up. All right, so we clocked the second mile at a 7.12, but since I'm ramping it up, we've actually been running at like a 6.50 pace for uh, the last quarter mile or so. So the next one will be ramped up even more. That's what I want the graph to look like, like one progressive ramp of uh, know, the pace increasing or whatever. So. We'll see, see how well I could uh, pace this to the finish. All right, third mile, we just hit a 6.36, um, and we are well within zone four range right now. So we'll probably get a half a mile here, and then a half a mile cool down, and uh, yeah, recap this run. All right, we held on to that for the full fourth mile. We hit that at a 6.16, um, and now we got a five minute cool down to get back to work and call that a workout. I feel pretty good about that one. I'm um, definitely hot and humid. Uh, definitely was in zone four for probably half of that run. So that's gonna be a little taxi on the body regardless. And these are all new training zones for me. But yeah, I feel really good. We're gonna get about four and a half miles, which is very good for a lunch break run. It's 4.30 p.m. after work now. I'm meeting up with Henry. We're gonna go do a easier road bike ride just on the trail um, that I've been hitting these last few sessions. So no uh, pace efforts, no nothing, just easy cruising and enjoying the company and hopefully eating Chipotle after. Actually, definitely eating Chipotle after. That's why I come here. That's why I park here. So who am I kidding? But anyways, we will get to it. We got the goods and a nice cap to the ride tonight. I kept it all nice and easy. We rode about two hours, maybe a little less. Um, I think we got like 32 miles and uh, yeah, had a pretty good ride. All set. Good Friday morning. I am on my way into work right now. Just finished up a swim session. Did uh, the set was like broken 300s. So pretty much breaking up 300 yards into different little sets. Um, a lot of zone four pace work, but yeah, felt pretty good in the pool. And I think we got like 2,200 yards. So another good swimming morning. So I, I got definitely got to pick up the uh, swim, uh, I don't know, a little bit here. But yeah, I got to get into work now. All right, it is Saturday. We have a big day lined up. We have race rehearsal number two on the schedule today. So we have the bike all ready to go, all the bottles. I'm not running this uh, during the race, but I'm doing that today since we don't have aid stations, but I got water filled up. So all the hydration, um, we're going to try to take in a little bit more hydration um, for this ride compared to the last race rehearsal we did, because I think I underdid it because I lost a lot of weight and I'm just kind of talking a bunch right now. But anyways, got the bikes lined up. We're doing, um, I'm going to do probably just hundred miles of the ride, all at race power. If I'm feeling frisky, maybe I'll do the full 112 and then we're gonna do a 10K run off the bike at my race pace as well and see how we do with all that. And we got Mike out here doing his as well. What's up? Doing anything different this time? Uh, nutrition and bike's gonna be pretty much the same. Uh, I just want a good runoff today. Good runoff today, make me feel good. Make me more confident for chatty which I feel like that's gonna happen today. So, excited. Cool. And I got new shoes. So. What you taking for uh, nutrition? There it is. Yep. Me too. Um, but yeah, oh, today we're also, well one, we're running the full, the, 
we're running the whole new bike anyways but we're running the disc wheel today as well i didn't run that last time so maybe we'll pick up a half a mile an hour or something but anyways uh really looking forward to seeing how this bike works for this uh duration and whatever and i'm just hoping i feel great today because right now i do so yeah we'll get into it and check back in21 21 and a half miles an hour um we uh went down where there's a lot of hills elevation we extended the route a little bit so just to get a little bit more climbing um, i had the same intake of carbs and sodium so 105 grams of carbs 900 uh, milligrams of sodium 30 ounces of water still feeling good and uh yeah we will uh i don't know i think this is a quicker part of the course so maybe we'll pick up some mile an hour and uh Ride this one out. 29. All right, so we're a little over four hours in. I'm at 75 miles. I was at a stoplight and I accidentally ended my ride. So I restarted and I'm finishing up the last 25 miles right now. Here's Mike. Oh yeah, then we'll do the uh, 10K runoff. Um, I feel pretty tired again. I may have hit this one a little hard, but we'll see what happens when I start running. A hundred. And we're running. All right, so I'm a mile into this run. Um, I started the run going up a steep hill and back down. So I think that kind of simulates um, the run that we start in Chattanooga. At least I think. Actually, we just hit a mile. So. With that hill we hit a 749 and then we're going to target for the remainder uh 715s because that is my marathon pace and we'll keep the heart rate in check monitor the uh the old gut see how we're handling the uh carbs and everything we took in on the bike um and yeah and i think i'm going to end this run with that same hill climb too so yeah and we're going for 10k so i'm going to shut up and uh, clock some miles Mike must already be running because that's one of his shoes he must have lost. So I'll have to pick that up for him on the way back, but no time right now. All right, we hit a 712, a 714, and a 709 for miles two, three, and four. Um, I feel really good. Heart rate's at 145 beats. Um, it's about 82 degrees out today. So probably a little uh, cooler than it'll be in Shaddy, but everything seems to, uh, know, the numbers look good. So that is good. Um, I think I could probably take a teeny bit less carbs on the bike or I need a little bit more water along with whatever I'm doing. My stomach feels all right, just a little gurgly. So I don't know, it's just something to uh, keep in check, I guess. 
and uh, that's my takeaway for this run today but yeah everything feels good and i got two more miles to run it and i will check back in when i'm done all right and in that run a little over 10k um i hit uh 722 average pace for that felt really good i'm really glad that i added those hill climbs in there and um, that'll simulate some of how the chatty run course is um but yeah, i don't know i'll put some graphs in the background the bike i did 100 miles total um looks like we averaged around 222 watts um mile per hour is gonna be tough to see because my ride is split up into two but i will put both graphs in there felt really good though the bike felt good and that's going to be it for this race rehearsal number two we will see how mike is feeling when he gets back from his uh run here and yeah we'll check back in and mike's back from his run here how'd you feel <coughs> felt good today How'd felt good uh get one of these rehearsals in bike felt good uh if i had to change nutrition i would i think i want to go with a little bit more solid stuff on the bike 10 gels on the bike was I don't thinking, know, like sloppy joes, hot dogs. Uh, I don't know, maybe a subway sub or something. The run felt good. It was a little warm out here today. Not used to the 80 degree weather, but uh, 83. Run went good. No knee pain. Overall, really good day. Didn't get too sore on the bike. Felt really good in the position. Uh, feel good going in, going into uh, these next couple weeks, getting ready for Sleep the thing. Ironman. Yeah. But cool. The overall, good. What you got in the uh, uh ice and. Uh, there it is boom boom cool that's gonna be a wrap for this race rehearsal and yeah we will uh figure out what we're doing tomorrow i have like a long run tomorrow but i'm gonna take it super easy and we'll uh catch back up then all right good sunday afternoon we are down here at the beach uh today we are going to do a longer open water swim um, I'm going to push my long run to tomorrow um, just because the body's a little bit tired, fatigued, needs some recovery since we did the race rehearsal yesterday. And yeah, I'm just gonna make that judgment call on myself because I'm tired, I'm sore. Um, but yeah, anyways, down here at the beach, it's a beautiful day. The water looks really nice. Uh, we're going to start down there, go all the way down, go all the way back and see where we get after maybe an hour or so hopefully around 3,000 yards and yeah this will be nice to get the body recovered and feeling good um yeah for uh, the long run tomorrow which will be in next week's vlog or whatever so yeah so this will be the last workout of week 28 of this ironman training vlog and we will put the wetsuit on and go get it done now we are ready to go going with the sleeveless wetsuit today i like swimming in this thing and we're using the swim buoy um, because they pull all the buoys out so yeah just to stay safe from all the boats and whatnot and wait until the beachgoers get a glimpse of this bad boy Whew, gonna be looking real fast today so see what we can do all right swim is complete i went out there uh i got to like the 3,000 yard point maybe even 2,500 yards and i'm like you know what we haven't done a full iron distance swim yet so let's get it today so that's what we did um i swam all the way to the lighthouse and back um, I'll put the graph in the background or whatever, but yeah, so we did a little over 4,200 yards um, and what, an hour and 30 uh, swim time, average pace 207. Um, I started out that swim kind of at like a recovery pace and then I kind of started picking it up every 500 or whatever, but uh, not so much going for a fast swim today, not that I am a fast swimmer, but yeah, and then I got to a point towards the end whenever I turned around and the current was just so strong it felt like i wasn't going anywhere so my heart rate actually shot up quite a bit which it doesn't do in the swim um, but yeah average heart rate for that swim was 140 um which is actually pretty high for me so um, but anyways this was like a recovery day my body is absolutely smoked right now but that felt really really good to get that swim in there and i have kind of been banking on this river swim at chatty so i've been doing all my longer swims at like an hour but it's good to get the full distance in. It makes me feel good. Yeah, so that one's gonna wrap up week 28 of this Ironman training vlog. I appreciate everybody following along, leaving the little comments here and there. That motivates me. Um, but yeah, you can follow me on Strava and Instagram as well. It's just my name, Johnny Del Balso. And if you guys ever see me at a race or anything, say hi and whatnot. Um, I'm not good with like the YouTube names and all that, but I would love to meet more people in the sport doing the same thing that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, anyways. Thanks for tuning in, and next week we got Taper Week, and I don't even know if I'm going to do the last week when I, like we're going to travel to the Ironman and do all that event stuff. I might just roll that into the big uh, Ironman Chattanooga video recap or whatever, or maybe I'll do a pre-race. We'll see. We'll see what we get into. But yeah, I do love doing the pre-race vlogs. 
put out my projections and all that. But anyways, thank you for tuning in and stick around for more.